All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the Intuitive Empress channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. I'm inviting you to my table to be nourished by the spiritual food that the divine wants to give to you today. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So this message may not resonate with you or parts may resonate while others may not. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, eat that meat and don't get choked up on that bone. I could be speaking to your past, present, or future energies. To my subscribers and returning visitors, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate you all. For my new viewers, welcome, welcome to the table. For those of you who have not subscribed, please do so and hit that bell notification. So I know when the next video is available. If you like how I read or this message resonates with you, please let me know by liking this video and you can comment down below if you feel free to do so. As you interact with the channel, it helps me to interact with you. That being said, Let's get to the message. All right. So, this message could be for you if you are an Aries. The card says sun in Aries, so you could be the sun in Aries, but it also could be your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Or it could be your persons. All right? We have... Hmm... Someone is experiencing judgment. Could be you, could be your person. Now, this card is about your inner calling, a rebirth, tapping into the most high, or making a life-changing decision. So some of you could have made a life-changing decision regarding a Five of Cups situation, something that put you in... Sadness, regret, or sorrow. Okay? This could also be judgment from the Most High that is pushing you into your calling. Okay? Shedding the old, dying to the old, and being born into your new self. Spiritually. This could be also the person who caused you the sadness and the grief. All right. Many of you decided to move on to Kama Waters or someone could have walked away from you. Moving out of what they perceived was difficulties or you could have been transitioning from a difficult situation. Taking the time to heal yourself with the Four of Swords, okay? Contemplating, resting, thinking about your life and your life path and your purpose and what led you to where you are. And again, this could be someone that you were thinking of, all right? We have the Ace of Swords. Either you or this person or both, man or woman, family member, friend, past lover, could be coming into truth, clarity, and a new vision for their life. All right? 
This is bringing about on the bottom of the deck the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new opportunity and a fresh start. With someone who was in the Knight of Swords energy, someone who is considering in the past how they rushed to make hasty decisions causing chaos and destruction. But this behavior is coming to an end. There are big changes happening in your life or this person's life. There is a spiritual awakening that caused this person to pause, to let go of control issues and consider a new perspective. This person is maturing or you are maturing, pulling on your inner power provided to you by the divine, having respect for yourself or this person may have needed to get respect for themselves. And it's taking a lot of courage. After this person goes through this transformation, there will be a love offer to you. Causing the will of fortune to turn in their favor. Or your favor. We have someone that is learning and growing with the eight of pentacles. Willing to work on this relationship. Could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This person has been getting messages in their dreams from the Most High. It could be you. It could be this person. Okay? It could be both of you having dreams of a Ten of Cups situation. For some of you, this person is dreaming of you as the Queen of Pentacles. For others of you, the Queen of Pentacles is the person you're dreaming of. This person is turning into someone that is nurturing, practical, independent, and stable. But first, they have to deal with, or you have to deal with, the inner battle, the struggle, the difficulty, and even your differences, okay? Because for some of you, this person walked away because they felt like you were so different. It was a judgment that they made and a judgment card that they made. But in reality, you had more in common than what this person thought or you had more in common than what you with the, your person than you thought. Okay. Now, this person is sitting in the Six of Cups thinking about you. Thinking about the memories. Thinking about how they made you feel lost. Felt worry, insecure. For many of you, this person was insecure about themselves, insecure about whether they could provide to you what you needed. It's a lot of fire energy. So we have the Sagittarian energy, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. For many of you, this person could have had third parties. They could have let friends influence them or you could have let friends influence you. But in the end, there will be emotional growth. Okay? Emotional growth for yourself. Emotional growth for this person. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's clarify this a little bit. This deck here. Okay. 
whoever this person is, you and this person are on a twin flame journey together. Both of you had to do some healing. Both of you had to heal. Both of you had to come to some clarity and enlightenment. It is the reason why you're have, having dreams about this person because you're still connected to them. Again, we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Again, this could be your energy or your person's energy. This is someone who is a businesswoman, grounded, mature, generous, likes luxury, but knows how to balance their finances. This is someone who is a social butterfly. This is someone who is successful and practical. Someone who's down to earth. This is someone who takes action because there's fire energy here. And there's also um, Capricorn energy here. So it's Capricorn and Aries energy here. That could be your sign or the sign of your person or you're just walking in that energy or this person is. This came after gaining that maturity that we spoke about earlier. Be it yourself or be it this person. I feel like depending on the situation, you're going to be on the defensive when this person comes back or if you're the one coming back, this person is going to be on the defensive because they're not going to know if what your intention is. Put it that way. This is someone who is protective of their heart and rightly so. Because they felt like they were under attack. Whoever was the one that was under attack took the high road and stood their ground on what their boundaries were. Okay. For many of you, this person was blind to the truth or you could have been blind to the truth. Putting yourself in a self-imposed prison or this person put themselves in a self-imposed prison for some time. Trapped by anxiety and fear. Feeling helpless and powerless. For many of you, this person felt victimized or you could have felt victimized and that someone was trying to control them and force their will upon them. This is not what was happening in the twin flame journey. You tend to mirror each other. Okay. And you're mirroring the things that you need to heal. That's why I was saying you were more alike than either you or this person realized and when you're triggering each other by mirroring hurts insecurities it becomes uncomfortable but at the same time you have this connection and this love that was put into you by the most high so that's what the pool is that's what the dream is that's why you or your person feel like, why can't I get this person out of my mind? Why do I keep thinking about this person? Why am I still dreaming about this person? That is the reason why. Now, this journey here is one that is going to end up in victory and success. Not every twin flame journey does. You will know if this is your story. Okay, so for those that this is not your story and it doesn't resonate. And you don't want your twin flame back. You're not going through the dreams and stuff. Then this is not for you. Okay. 
this person and or you are changing because again we have we have the hangman right it's in the reverse this is someone who felt a lot of insecurity needed some spiritual enlightenment someone who felt like they were stagnant and in limbo but they pulled themselves out of this energy okay You and or this person have experienced a spiritual graduation or will. Now there are infinite possibilities for you and this person to fulfill your life purpose. You or your person will feel a new sense of freedom, completeness and wholeness. Because no one can make you whole. You have to be two whole individuals that become one to do the things that you need to do. For some of you, this person may be coming to provide you with closure. Or some of you are moving on without the closure. And in any case, this cycle is ending. For some of you, this is the end of the road with the person that you are thinking about because this person refuses to let go of the past or you may be unwilling to let go of the past that you have with this person. But regardless, both of you have transformed from this situation. Or will transform. There will be endings and new beginnings. Regardless of what transpired. So we had the Queen of Cups. Queen of, I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles. And now we have the King of Cups here. This is someone who is emotionally balanced. Husband material. Someone who's passionate. Could be a father figure, loyal and wise. This is what that knight of wands turned into. And if this is feminine energy, you can reverse that. Okay? This is, for some of you, The death and transformation of your person or of you to get you to where you needed to be. Okay? In the past, this King of Cups was in the Knight of Wands energy because we have the Knight of Wands again. Someone who was in and out taking risks. A free spirit, if you will. Indulging in third party energies. Mistresses or side chicks or side dudes. But it only led to betrayal on both your parts. This person may have betrayed you. This person was experiencing betrayal. You experienced heartache. This person experienced heartache and grief, sadness, trauma, and sorrow. Hmm. Both of you felt melancholy, indifferent, pessimistic. Some of you may even be pessimistic about this relationship. Hmm. Wow. But at the end of the day, with the Six of Cups, once you go through this, or if you've already been involved, because you can evolve and transition before your person 
and vice versa. There is going to be a shared wealth, gratitude to the Most High, an even give and take. But it's going to come after a period, past, present, or future, of the hermit energy, scorpionic energy. Soul searching and self-reflection. Taking care of self, gaining wisdom, and getting guidance from the Most High so you can ascend to this next level. Hmm. Wow. So, let us move on. I'm going to get Kipper on this. Because this is an interesting reading to me. It's actually a very good reading. One of the best that I've had in quite some time. Yeah, so we have a main male here that may be coming into sudden wealth. Hmm, split the death again. We have the lovers coming into sudden wealth, which is confirmation of what we had in this deck. Shared wealth. Okay. So we have house. This could have been someone that you lived with. Okay. Or this could be someone who you will build with in the future. For some of you, your person's wake-up call or your wake-up call could have been a brush with bad health. Some life-altering bad health where this person was close to passing on or yourself. A near-death experience. Anything else? Holy Spirit. We had the lovers on the bottom of the deck again. Oof. Okay, so we have... Main male came out earlier. And we have a privileged lady. So we could have a privileged lady that was in bad health. Possibly an accident at work. Or they acquired a sickness through work. Hmm. And we have a mature man here. So we have a father figure in the home who may have bad health. This could be a parent, a grandparent, possibly someone that you or this person had to care for. That could have been the third party energy. Because third party energy may not always be a um, lover situation. On the bottom of the deck, we have a mature woman. So someone could have been taking care of an ailing mother, ailing grandparent, man or woman. Someone in the family. Yeah. I feel like taking care of the possibility of taking care of an ailing parent caused a separation in this home. Making someone feel imprisoned and causing this relationship to end. But now you are in this person's thoughts or this person is in your thoughts or 
you could be in each other's thoughts. Hmm. About how they allowed themselves to end this relationship. Break up this family. Because of selfishness or possibly their own feeling neglected. Someone in this situation felt neglected. Someone in this home could be a privileged lady, could be a main male. Hmm. All right. So we are going to just get some angel answers and wrap this up because this reading is No, we're going to do this oracle cards here. That's what I was told. Okay. For those of you who were taking care of it, this is not for everybody, but this is for somebody. My condolences to you because someone did lose a parent or a loved one that they were caring for. Hmm. So you are moving into a steady and reliable path. So, like I said before, for some of you, this is you moving into this steady and reliable path. For others of you, it is your twin flame. For others of you, both of you are moving. You may be separated. You might not even see it, but... You are moving on the path together, a reliable path. Life is great. Big canvas. Throw all paint on it you can. Because you are reshaping your life, recreating your life, that rebirth. You or your person or you and your person together. For some of you, you have fear regarding this situation, but just know that everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Adventure waits for you. Go and find it. Hmm. So this will be a new adventure for you and this person. For those of you who do not want this person back, there is a, still a new adventure for you and possibly a new love if that's what you desire. Hmm. This is a beautiful message. Thank you for joining me at the table. I hope you receive something that you can take that will nourish your soul and give you the energy to walk your life purpose. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.